Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is February 15th, 2022, Tuesday. The theme of today's devotional is A Gentle Heart. The scripture is from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy. And my burden is light. Amen. Another scripture is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Amen. Today's story is from uh, Piumi, who lives in Sri Lanka in Asia. I'm a driven person. I thrive on achieving new things and checking items off my daily to-do list. I was competitive, competitive early in my childhood, even over simple games like musical chairs. As I grew older, I began to believe the message that we must always bring our best to everything we do, and even that we sh must always be the best. In many ways, I have been rewarded for my drive throughout my life, but what few people know is how hard I am on myself. I can be my own worst critic, examining everything I say and do for flaws. I scru scrutinize my performance at work, at home, in ministry, and in my relationships. And I expect more from myself than anyone else ever do does. Lately, God has been showing me another way. Jesus had a difficult mission to accomplish. But his approach made all the difference. Jesus had a calm and gentle spirit, and from his wellspring of divine love flowed acts of kindness, healing, and restoration. I think God wants us to pursue worthy goals and plans. But first, God wants to show us that how we go about pursuing them is just as important. Yes. Are you critic to yourself? Are you strict to yourself? Some people do, some people not. Some people are critic and strict to others but not themselves. Some people do their best for their work and their everything in their life strict to him uh, strict to themselves but not others sometimes to both both their selves and others when we pursue goals we try to do best and in the world there are many strategies like that set the goal set the plan and do because this that is the way we can achieve something it's especially when we try to a hard goal and mission jesus had a heavy mission jesus mission was very hard he also in struggle he was struggled his he, he was struggling with his mission 
as we see, he prayed, Lord God, please let me pass this cup if it is possible. That prayer was right, right before he was captured by the soldier of Roman Empire. However, his heart, his love, made him accomplish everything. He loved people, killed people, fed people, and cast out evil spirit on them. He taught them and let them experience salvation, grace, and mercy. He let people experience forgiveness throughout his whole life. We should go to achieve goals in our life. However, what would be our motivation for that? Is it for our success only? Or is it just what we have to do or should do? I hope we are in Christ. We are in God and God's purpose, purpose and God's will all the time. For God's glory, for God's kingdom of God, for God's kingdom, I hope we set the goal, make plans, and carry out them. God will not criticize you, but lead you and help you into God's ways. God will be with you, not just to order something to us, but walk with us, helping us and supporting us to achieve God's will in our lives. Jesus invited us, come to me, come to me. I will let you take the rest. Take my yoke, take my burdens, because it is light. Church family and friends, what burdens are you have? What burdens are you carrying on? Let's put down, put on, put everything down before Jesus and let us have Jesus' yoke and Jesus' mission because it's light and it is what we should do in our lives. Don't strict too much to yourself. Have gentle heart to be generous to you and others in Christ. But don't misunderstand or don't misinterpret Jesus' invitation. Sometimes people use that the reason for their laziness. I hope we do not do that. Let us pray. Dear God, as we pursue goals in, our, in life, teach us to be gentle with ourselves and others. Gracious God, you invite us to come to Jesus. Put everything down before Jesus and take Jesus' mission, his work. Lord, we are here. We would like to serve you, doing our best, best. Please be with us and help us and let us walk with you, working with you, 
can go with me. Let us experience the rest that Jesus provides. Let us experience the peace that you provide, provide us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.